I welcome you to this presentation on reconstructing occluded elevation information in terrain maps with self-supervised learning. I'm Maximilian, and this is a joint work by the Robotic Systems Lab at ETH Zurich and the European Space Agency. Modern mobile robots usually rely on 2.5D digital elevation maps for traversability analysis and motion planning. These elevation maps are generated based on depth sensor data recorded with LiDAR or stereo cameras. To enable safe and optimal path planning, we strive for complete and accurate elevation maps. In practice, however, our robots often encounter occlusions caused by terrain discontinuities such as rocks, obstacles, or convex terrain, which hide an area patch from the sensor's viewpoint. Further, depth measurements can be degraded due to reflection, stereo matching failures, dust, or textureless surfaces, which frequently all lead to additional missing elevation information in the DEM. An incomplete elevation map severely limits the planning horizon as seen in this example. Oftentimes the robot has to stop and replan when more of the environment ahead becomes visible. The naive solution to this would be to use supervised learning to train a neural network to reconstruct the missing elevation information. However, in the real world data sets, there is rarely a ground truth information available, which is required for supervised learning. We aim to bridge this gap by introducing a self-supervised learning strategy, which does not require access to ground truth information. We consider elevation maps generated by all kinds of mobile robots, such as, for example, leg robots or planetary robots. Conventional elevation mapping strategies generate partially occluded 2.5D DEMs. We randomly sample a vantage point and perform ray casting. This means we check for every grid cell whether it is visible from the vantage point. This leads to an even more occluded DEM with a corresponding binary occlusion mask. We pass the occluded DEM through an through a encoder-decoder neural network to receive a reconstructed DEM. Next, we compute the reconstruction loss between the reconstructed DEM and the input DEM. Finally, the neural network weights are updated. On top, we perform motion planning with incomplete DEMs. On the bottom, with our reconstructed elevation maps. Our preliminary experiments show that the planning enabled by our approach can reach further ahead and only needs to be slightly adjusted when the belief of the occluded area is updated. Thank you for your attention.